Let me show you Yeoman. It's an opinionated workflow for creating beautiful, compelling web applications. Yeoman tries to help with many of the pain points we web app developers have today, such as keeping your libraries up to date, avoiding authoring boilerplate code, and putting together a thorough, automated, kick-ass build process that can keep your apps fast. To get started with Yeoman, let's get it installed. To get Yeoman set up, I paste the line currently on screen at the moment into my terminal. This will go and fetch all the dependencies Yeoman needs to get installed. This process takes between 10 to 15 minutes, so we recommend grabbing a coffee while you wait. I can now kickstart off a brand new application using the Yeoman init command. This will ask me a number of questions about what I'd like to include in my app, such as Twitter Bootstrap, the Twitter Bootstrap plugins, Require.js, and one or two other pieces. Once I've confirmed, it'll go and fetch the latest version of all of these dependencies. It'll then scaffold out my application so I can start coding right away. It'll also include scaffolded out unit tests using Mocha. We can preview what this has generated using the yeoman server command. And there we go. I can see that my basic application is working and yeoman just confirms all of the different pieces that it's included. Now, what if I were to make a simple change to this page? Let's go over to the source. So let's say I wanted to make a change to the headline. As we can see, Yeoman has gone and refreshed the page automatically without us having to do anything. The reason for this is that Yeoman's using live reload functionality to automatically reload the page whenever changes are made to market files, scripts, or styles. Now this is great. I have a basic application scaffold in place, but let's say I want to do something a little more fancy. Um, let's say I want to create an app that lets me see what the weather is like at my mom and pop's place. So there's a jQuery plugin that I want to use for this. There's a weather plugin, but I can't remember the name of it. So let's see if Yeoman can help me with that. If I use the Yeoman search command and just type in jQuery, this will go and query the Twitter Bower Package Management Registry, which is a registry containing a bunch of libraries, frameworks, and plugins. Now I see that it's actually got the weather plugin I'm looking for. So to install it locally so I can use it with my project, all I have to do is type in Yeoman install and the name of the plugin. And there we go. It's gone and it's installing the plugin. I also want to use the handlebars templating library and we can use Yeoman install to get that too. The next thing I need to do is add references to the two packages I just installed. So one for handlebars JS and another for the jQuery simple weather plugin. Next, I'll want to write some handlebars template code that actually consumes the data being returned by the jQuery simple weather plugin. Here's some I wrote earlier. Finally, we just need to write some jQuery plugin code to configure simple weather and we're off. I'm going to save the page and it should automatically refresh, which it does. Your mom and pop's place in Sheboygan is partly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 67. I can now build a production ready version of my application using Yeoman Build. This will go and optimize my scripts, my styles, concatenate and minify them, and perform a number of other optimizations to things like image files and so on. I can then go and preview the final version of my application using Yeoman Server once again with the dist profile. Now this is great, but my own applications are a little bit more sophisticated. How does Yeoman help me with this? Well, if we go back to the Yeoman init command, and this time pass in help, a number of options will show up. Let's go through some of them. We've got Chrome Apps, Ember, Angular, Backbone, Backbone Boilerplate, Testacular, and others. These are actually called generators, and they're a way of scaffolding out boilerplate code for a new application. Let's try using one. Let's create a new Backbone application. So, Yeoman init Backbone. What this is doing is it's going and scaffolding out a completely new Backbone application, including Backbone, jQuery, Lodash, as well as your first set of views, models, collections, 
and routers. If I wanted to generate a new Backbone component, I can also do this from the command line using a subgenerator. So yeoman init backbone and then model, followed by the name, so let's say cars. We'll go and create a new cars model. Let's go to our app to take a look at this. So scripts, models, cars model, and there we go. The very basic boilerplate for a model has already been written up for me. Yeoman comes with a number of generators out of the box, and anyone in the community can also create their own. Certainly check out the docs on yeoman.io, and we'd be happy to get your feedback and involvement on GitHub. We're also on G+, Twitter, and the Yeoman channel on Freenode. Thanks.